Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel T-Spot. In this video, in my latest video about Outlander Season 7, I talked about how STRs is tricking us by dividing the season into two. STRs promised fans a long season, not eight episodes in one year, and another eight next year. It's like they are playing word games. And what's funny is that the entirety of Season 7 is already filmed. I guess what's left is the editing, and I get that editing is complex and takes months to complete. But why not release them all together? Honestly, I would have rather waited until 2024 if I could watch all 16 episodes back to back. Some of you share the same sentiment, and you even commented how this could be about stars wanting subscribers because the company knows people subscribe just to watch Outlander. Netflix also does this with popular shows like Stranger Things or Virgin River, but it's usually a month or two, not a whole year. Now that I am mad at stars, I wanted to talk about season 8 and questioned, why it is the final season? Was there a specific reason? Did the actors not want to continue? Were the ratings bad? Let's see what has been going on. It turns out that when Outlander TV writers started planning season 7, they did not even know if there would be a season 8. They genuinely thought season 7 would be the final season, so they incorporated three books to give a conclusive ending to the story. They had to continue the storyline about the Christies from book 6, but they also continued with books 7 and 8. The executive producer, Meryl Davis, even said there is a natural ending in one of the books, and that's how they ended season 7. She talks about the ending of book 8, written in my own heart's blood, where Bree, Roger, and the Frasers all meet in the past at Fraser's Ridge. So, season 8 will be about, go tell the bees that I am gone. Anyway, the writers actually learned there would be another season when most of season 7 was finished with production. So, stars didn't even let its producers and writers know about the show's fate until the end of filming. I believe this is mainly because of the drop in viewership numbers. Although I hate to admit it, the number of people watching the show is not the same as it used to be in the earlier seasons. Just to compare according to Nielsen ratings, season 5 of Outlander had an average audience of 800,000 per episode. For season 3, this number was a whopping 1.5 million per episode. But guess what was it for season 6? Just a little over 500,000. No wonder Stars was hesitant to renew the show for another season. Do you know the ratings for season 7? They're even lower than season 6. This season's premiere was watched by 380,000 people, almost a 40% drop from the previous season. I know we quickly get angry at these companies for canceling our favorite shows, but we forget that they don't just put out these shows for our benefit. They do it to earn money. And if the ratings are falling with every season, can we really blame them? We should not forget that there is now a prequel on the horizon titled Blood of My Blood, which will focus on the love story of Jamie's parents. The show is on hold thanks to the writers and actor strikes. I'm guessing it will come out after the second part of season 7. What do you think about season 8 being the final season? What about the drop in ratings? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.